guys, this is Turbo, and I'm hanging out at Barizona, which is a really cool animal park in outside of Flagstaff. Whoa, look at her. She's an African porcupine, and you can see all the quills right along her back. And here's the thing, guys, woo! She's pretty friendly, but you really don't want to be in a situation like this with a porcupine. So Kyle, tell us about Turbo. So Turbo here, she is a African crested porcupine. Uh, right now she's on her podium right now, so this is cool behavior that she knows, but behind her, and you guys will see in the video, she's gonna have some really long quills back She's got here. long quills. Yep, so some, some of them can get up to two feet long. You can imagine, she's in Africa. There's lions, there's hyenas, there's leopards. There's a lot of big predators uh, in, uh, in Africa. And that's and why she's got these really, really long quill, quills that she can be able to protect herself. Protect she, herself. Yep, so she's gonna flare them up. A lot of people think they can shoot them too, and we, we want to stomp that myth out. They can't shoot their quills, they can't throw their quills at all. She's, That's why she, she's not like a machine gun, guys. She's <laughs> not just going to start shooting quills at you. If you but hear her sneeze or fart, you still want to run. Her, or if she was threatened right now and she turned towards us, then we could be in a world of trouble. A world of trouble. She's got a lot of quills back there, and she's not afraid to use any of them. She doesn't want to. She doesn't have to, though. If she, if she does, those Well, it's a defense. Yep. She, she doesn't want to use them. And those things will pull out of her. Imagine how comfortable that yeah. is. It's like pulling your hair. I don't want to pull my hair out. So for her, it makes a lot of sense that she that she tries to protect She'd prefer herself. not to use it. Exactly. She's only going to use it in a situation where she doesn't have any other options. Yep, yep. Exactly. Now another fun fact that I love to talk about real quick is just looking on the front of her right here. Sometimes, and we'll get a good shot of it, you're gonna see two big front teeth on the front of her right there. And she is a rodent. She's in the same family as all our rats and rats mice. And mice and, and, yep. And big front teeth she's on the front. She's a big of her. rodent. <laughs> yep. She's a big rodent. The third largest rodent in the world. So she's uh, uh, she's got some chompers on her too that she can use to uh, to protect herself as well. Now how old is she? She's actually about six years old. We expect to have her here for quite a while, um, potentially getting up to 12 to 15 years old. Uh, that'd be a nice old porcupine for us. Good job. Yeah, cool. How long did, how long has she been here? How long did it take her to you guys to train her so that she'll do this? Yeah, so she's been here since she was just a couple months old. Uh, she was born at another zoo, another facility. Uh, brought her here to give her a good home and as an educational animal. And she's been learning ever since. And, and we started out with some very simple behaviors, target training, uh, where she learns to touch her nose to something and then touching her nose but doing it on the podium right here. That's a great one. Here we've been able to learn how to trim nails if we need to. Yeah, so that's the thing, guys. Her putting her, her feet up on this podium, it's not just like a show thing. It has useful features. Exactly. But basically, basically the whole idea is, is if you need to give medical care to her, yeah, you need to trim her toenails, or you need to do something, hey, what if you need to give her a shot, or you need you need to be able to have her present herself to you guys exactly. and not feel threatened. Yep, and from here we can do all that. She feels comfortable around us. We can work on those behaviors at that time. We need to check on her teeth. Being that rodent, her teeth continue to grow further and further. We don't want her to be a goofy looking porcupine. We need to give her those things to chew on, but from here I can really make sure her teeth look good. <laughs> which which is hard. If, if she wasn't trained, you, yep. you, it, how would you check that out, right? I mean, my own dog at home. I can't trim her nails very well. And with yeah. Turbo here, if uh, if she was like my dog, I would have a lot of these quills in me. So all the training, the clicker, all that serves a purpose. Exactly. Keeping her healthier. Yep, and, and making sure that she lives a happy, healthy life here at the park. And that's what we want to educate about. We want people to fall in love with animals. I really want to do cool things with animals. Right now, we got it right here in front of a camera. That's awesome. But I can multi-purpose this and use husbandry care at the same time. There she Ooh, goes. Look at that, guys. Look what at that. show off. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh. Good job. <laughs> She's so loving. Oh. Does that feel good? Oh, it's like, yeah, man. it does. That's there like go. she's looking. She's looking for food for me. She's <laughs> Here, looking you go for and give food it to for her. me. Go ahead and give her a piece. There we go. There you go. Good, she's like I like girl. you. You give good me good girl. stuff. Good girl. She's like as long as you keep on giving me food. As long <laughs> as you keep on giving. me <laughs> You're such a. <laughs> He's gonna give me a kiss or a little bite if I don't have food though. And these guys, they, they do have a bite. So they do have a bite. There careful. we go. Eat it now. Look, look she's, she's rolling around. You, yep. you want to be careful. You always want to be aware of, you know, exactly. what's going on with her. Let's try this again. There we go. Podium. There we go. That's what I like to see. What a rock star. You know it. <laughs> Cutest porcupine in the Wild West.
So with Turbo, she also knows how to do some fun behaviors. We talked about husbandry behaviors. These are things to better take care of her. Some things are just for fun. This is good exercise for Turbo. This is good mental stimulation. So one of them, so we train Turbo to walk between her legs and we're gonna get her attention real quick. Are you ready? Turbo! Through. Good job, Turbo. Oh, wow. What a rock star! So who wants to volunteer for this job in Arizona? <laughs> I know. Who wants to have a working? I don't know. Walking between your legs. She's a good one. We 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 like her. She does know some other fun ones too. She does know how to spin in a circle based on the stomp of our foot. So if you know, whatever foot I stomp with, Turbo actually knows how to spin in that circle as well. Great mental challenge for her to figure that She's out. She's really smart. She's very smart. We'll bring her back again. We'll try it out. There she goes. Good job, Turbo. And we'll do it with the other foot this time. And she'll she turned to the, the other way. side. It's wow. awesome. So this was something challenging for Turbo to learn at the same time. Not as much husbandry care, but good training is good husbandry care at the same time. Awesome. Good job, Turbo. Thank you so much, man, for showing us. Not a problem. This is a lot of fun. Really, really cool. <laughs> the friendliest, friendliest African porcupine I've ever met. I know. She, wow. she looks scary, but she, she's got a good heart. Guys, if you like that video, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that follow button. Go out and follow Arizona. Heck yeah. I'm going to put a link to them right here, guys. They're a super cool place. They're outside of Flagstaff, about 30 minutes outside of Flagstaff. If you're going to the Grand Canyon, you're on the way to check out the Grand Canyon. Stop by Gateway Arizona. Gateway to the Grand Canyon, yep, in Williams, Arizona. Thank you so much, man. Thank you. Very cool. Thank you. Thank you, Turbo. Bye, Turbo. Say bye, Turbo. Oh.